And now we move on to the traditionally inspired wear category. Welcome, Miss Nauru. traditional wear, each strand symbolic of our Pacific values, which complements Nauru's values of the frigate bird, the symbol of her beloved country. Her headpiece intricately crafted by gems from the sea, reflecting the sky with woven fibers from her pleasant island Nauru. Her neck piece represents the wealth of her homeland, beaded with phosphate rock, matted shoulder of feathers, with a 12-pointed star which represents the 12 tribes of Nauru. A net is attached to her bodice which signifies her forefathers as fishermen. It expresses harmony of feathers, tip, pandanus leaves, with white shells and red beads flowing outwards like how the Pacific waves united us. A woven matted bodice trimmed with coconut fiber strings. Her skirt highlights designs of frigate bird feathers in layers, with white flowering motifs on a black mat that gracefully glides the grand finale of her traditional wear. A female frigate bird on her trail carries the 12 totems of the 12 tribes of Nauru, which is surrounded with 12 tribal pointed star that strengthens and unifies her homeland. In parting, Miss Nauru's traditional wear May it invoke in your hearts the will to do good by our natural environment as it sustains our lives, our cultural existences, and its peaceful Pacific way. Ms. Norwich's traditional wear weaves us together in our indigenous identity, diverse and yet we celebrate our differences because of our strength in unity. Matuba Mama. Thank you, contestant number one. Welcome, contestant number two, Miss American Samoa. surfaces but of the surrounding ocean as far as we could traverse and explore. Tonight, Miss American Samoa pays tribute to the seafaring people of the Pacific. Her traditional wear is inspired by the sophisticated nautical method of navigation through constellations depicted through the first portion of her garment. A caged skirt made of siapo and afa Reminiscent of the woven star maps, a navigation tool used by our ancestors to place and mark every body of land that they came upon. Her headpiece, inspired by the vast cosmologies of the named stars, are represented in the Tifa shells and crotched neckpiece remembering the crossing of the Pacific skies. As she removes her cage skirt, we are reminded of the first docking of our tua and are welcomed by the bright sun of our lands and seas, depicted through the hand-painted skirt made of ua. Miss American Samoa shows strength and unity by raising the base of the dress, creating a calm-like effect. Strength and unity is celebrated through the representation of a few Pacific flags shown here. Every flag is the pride of their nation and the symbol of unity, freedom, and self-governance. As she unveils her final piece, 
She is dressed in all the traditional fibers common among our Pacifica. A fitted, reimagined gown of pure mulberry bark stitched with afa to resemble a water-like effect. The ombre blue tones of the exaggerated ruffles are hand-printed with a mixture of the Pacific patterns as shown of our unity as people of the sea. Her bodice is accented with the shells of tifa and coconut, laua, all hand sewn, detailed across her modern cut dress, accented her slit and recalls the swaying of the waves. She crosses the runway tonight. Welcome contestant number three, Miss Solomon Islands. traditional contemporary wear. Beautiful flora always has a special place in the hearts of Pacific Island women. Miss Solomon Islands promotes the preservation of our 4,500 endemic and rare flora species. Miss Solomon Islands headpiece is made of a crown of pink orchids made of pandanus leaves. Traditionally, pandanus is made into mats used for sleeping a reflection of the importance of the pandanus leaves in the livelihood of Pacific Islanders. A bird cage of the kuza bark strings traditionally used for carrying garden crops gives the headpiece a classic touch. The choker used by Miss Solomon Islands is made of coconut husks and shell reflecting the coconut as the water of life for Pacific Islanders. On her hands are matching gloves made from kusa strings, wrapped in orchid leaves made of tapa. The gown's bust is delicately lined with fine twine of the Vahalo tree and coconut fiber to represent a strong agriculture economy of the Solomon Islands. Lined with tapa and pandanus mats from the waist, the gown is lusciously adorned with an array of vanda orchids endemic to Solomons. A blooming orchid encompasses beauty and strength, whether it be education, health, culture, or entrepreneurship. Once we fully bloom, our society emerges stronger. Miss Solomon Island's train is made of hand-beaten tapa, splashed in brown depicting tropical forests of the Solomon Islands, which are now under threat due to heavy logging activities. The back of the train has two coconut leaf woven fans attached to it, 
reflecting the Pacific woman's ability to develop strong roots to her traditions and culture that will support her through the storms of life. The train is further adorned with coconut fibre flowers and totems from the nine provinces united to echo the spirit of the Solomon. Contestant number four, Miss Samoa. Inspired by the Pacific Tree of Life, Miss Samoa's traditionally inspired attire celebrates the coconut tree. Its use goes well beyond the fleshy white meat that it produces and the nutritional coconut water and sap we all love to drink. The coconut tree is a source of fuel and building material for our island communities. A plant with every bit of its useful from its incredibly intricate and clever root systems designed for sandy soil in tropical climates, through the palms, trunks, and fruit itself, everything has a purpose. Coconut oil, cinnamon, charcoal, coconut flesh and water, coconut sap, and not forgetting the palm fronds for a water tight roofing and waving of all sorts of things are only but a few. Miss Samoa's timeless uh, traditional design is strategically put together using the gauze-like fiber that holds the fruits, palm leaves, flowers, and everything to the trunk together for its strength and resilience to withstand the tropical weather elements of the Pacific. The cinnet is used to accentuate border and the whole attire signifying unity and strength. Removing the tiputa, design ladies' jacket, reveals an intricate, traditional strapless top adorned with a matapopo, the flower part extracted from the husk of the coconut nut. Her hairpiece is a recreation of aselu, or comb, used by the Samoan women before 1906, made out of a coconut leaf madrid and coconut synod in its finest form. Her earrings is a combination of matured and baby coconut shell, dried and manicured to get the contrasted look that you see. This remarkable plant is indeed the pillar of strength, the backbone to our island nation's sustainability. Stranded on an island with coconut trees, no worries, Miss Samoa has the manual booklet for you on how to survive on just the tree of life.
Please welcome contestant number five, Miss Papua New Guinea. like the strength and beauty of the spur. It's place and movement, cut and styled and tradition. Who am I? My feather headdress identifies my clan, my village, my people in a land of a thousand tribes. The bird of paradise, soaring high above, an emblem of our culture, representing our freedom and nationhood. My cloak, like wings from the highlands to the islands, the colors representing the flag under which we all stand united. Red, black, and yellow, traditional colors of Papua New Guinea and used by many of our tribes for centuries. My skirt, styled in the umbrella shape, capturing the vastness and diversity of the cultures of my homeland and the river river. The tattoo, hand printed here with the designs of my ancestors. Wild grass, seashells, traditional shell money, rattle and banana seeds, tulip vines woven into fine strings, carved coconut shells and woven cane, all transformed using ancient method of, methods of weaving and crafting. Different cultures and peoples united under one umbrella. Original and authentic as it was in the beginning, yet reimagine that I may share to you today the colors and beauty that is Papua New Guinea. I am your Miss Papua New Guinea. And for one final look at our traditional inspired costumes, please welcome back to the stage our beautiful contestants. Thank you. 